hello happy 4th of July so it's around 3 o'clock right now and I just finished doing my makeup and now I'm waiting for my hair curler to heat up and me and my sister are going to just a casual little cookout kind of thing at our friend's house with our young adult church group and I also just finished whitening my teeth and I just noticed I think it's working but anyways I just wanted to do a little get ready with me chat. So I'm just gonna be doing my hair and then I also am going to, every 4th of July, I make these little fruit kebabs. It's so easy, but I'm gonna show you how I do those. I also have really thick hair. I usually do two to three different sections. I always try to wait and oil it after I've curled it because I normally, I wash my hair twice a week once on mm, or Sunday night so it's fresh for the week and then once on Thursday night so it's fresh for the weekend and I usually will do it the day after I wash it and just leave it curled and just let it kind of fall out for the rest of the week so I normally wait for it to be done before I put oil on it because I don't like to curl it with oil in it because I get scared that it's gonna like cook it or something hopefully it looks good enough I just got it like re-dyed like three weeks ago I think maybe a month ago now and so I've been extra careful to try to keep it like using oil treatments and leave-in conditioner to keep it healthy I'm almost feeling like curly hair it's about to not be in style or maybe not that it won't be in style but I feel like people are kind of going back to the straight hair trends I feel like 4th of July would be one of my favorite holidays, but every time I like get super excited about it and like try to plan something, it just like falls through. But then this year I just decided I didn't really care that much and then we actually got fun plans. So the only thing that would make it perfect is if we could have fireworks. But Oregon, because there's so much greenery everywhere, it's kind of more dangerous to have fireworks, obviously. We had them a lot in Texas but here it's just not as practical but the weather here is a lot nicer and there's also not a bunch of like mosquitoes and chiggers and things so it's a lot more nice to do outdoor stuff so it all balances out okay now for the last layer and I wait to like brush it out with my fingers until I've done all of it so it kind of like sets a little bit better but I do, I will brush it out so it doesn't look so crazy. Okay, so it's all been curled and I'm just gonna let it sit for a quick minute before I brush it out with my fingers, okay. So now I just kind of go through and brush it out. Okay, so now I'm basically ready. I'm gonna make my bed really quickly because I haven't done that yet. I also wanted to show you um, that I have a confession to make. I was in Whole Foods and lo and behold, under a gleaming light of halo and angelic music, the Stanley Cup. And I kind of felt stupid when I got home because I have another Stanley Cup that's not this one. And to be honest, I have no idea how this was in Whole Foods because they're sold out online, but that's why I was like, I have to grab it. And also, it's the color that I would have bought online if I could have bought it online. So I definitely don't regret it and it has kind of become my emotional support water bottle, so. I also have drinking almost this whole thing today already. Uh, 
Okay, so they're super simple to make and normally I put them on a cute little serving tray But because I'm taking them to go, I'm just gonna stick them in this like baking pan But all you need are your little skewers and then I'm gonna grab the ingredients. So you just use blueberries strawberries and marshmallows the large ones and you just stick them on the skewer in like different patterns and stuff so it just looks like it's just like red white and blue and we've even done them with raspberries and we've also done them with like little brownie chunks before if you want to like make them a little more desserty or change out the fruits and stuff you can pretty much use any red fruit or blackberries would work too for like swap out for the blueberries but these are like the classic ones that I make every time so it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna wash the fruit really quick. Okay, so now you just literally start sticking them on the skewers. And if you're trying to be more convenient, I would cut the tops off the strawberries, but I feel like they look cuter with them on. So I'm gonna leave them on just cause it's really not that big of a deal either way. And I just think they look cuter, but I'm just gonna open the marshmallow pack first really quick. I also always put a marshmallow at the very bottom, otherwise the fruits will slip off. So you always wanna start with one of the sticky little marshmallows. And you just go like that. And then whenever I pick out the blueberries for them, I try to pick out the fatter ones because the thin ones sometimes are a little too thin for them. And I just kind of bead them on. So this is a finished one. And then I just lay them out in the tray. And you could even get like little straw or little marshmallows and big marshmallows to kind of like make them different sizes to make a, a little bit more fun and pattern and stuff. But I think mine are all gonna be kind of basic. But I still think it's really cute. So these are them finished and I think I'm just gonna get like some plastic wrap to put over them while they transport but normally I put them on like a cuter little tray or something but this is what they look like. So it was super simple. I think it only took me like less than 10 minutes to make them and then they're like cute but they're also kind of healthy because it's fruit but anyways. But for a little what's in my bag I am just taking the stuff that's been in my fanny pack and basically putting it in here. That's what I've been carrying around but I'm just gonna take out my little cards that I keep right here. So I'm just putting those in this little pocket here so I have them on me. Then I'm just putting in my keys, some gum. Actually, I think I'm just gonna take out a couple pieces and put it where I put the cards so I don't have to carry the big bulky thing around. And then lastly, just my Carmex. And to be honest, I think that's all that I'm gonna put in here. So that's the bag. It's like two different times before finally settling on just a plain white button up. But I did add a little bit of red to my lips and I still am gonna bring the little red Chanel bag. So I feel like that makes it a little bit more festive, but it's about time to go.
channel. <laughs> okay, so I just got back home. I spent some time, made a little Instagram post, and I just cleaned up my room really quickly. I always try to clean up my room before I go to sleep so it's just nice and fresh in the morning and I just feel a lot more organized that way and honestly I feel like I sleep better. It's like 11.30 which is way past when I normally try to go to sleep because I get up at 5 every morning. But anyway, I am just going to go wash my face, brush my teeth, and head downstairs to refill this water bottle. I always fill this at night too and try to drink a little bit before I go to sleep but not too much. And then I leave it on my nightstand so first thing in the morning I can take my probiotics and drink a lot of water. So, that's all that I'm doing for the rest of the night. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all had a very fun and happy 4th of July. But anyway, I will see you this week. Bye!